Hi, welcome to one more video on mathforallgrades.com. In this video, I am going to teach you how to find percent decrease in any number, percent decrease in any quantity. Let me consider an example. Suppose the price of a book is 90 rupees. It is decreased to 80 rupees. So there is a decrease, but find the decrease in terms of percent. What is the percent decrease in the price of the book which goes down from 90 to 80? You can write like this. There is a 10 decrease on what initial value on 90. 10 degrees on the bar, the fraction bar can be here imagined as the decrease on 10 degrees on 90 is how much decrease per 100, how much decrease on 100 per 100 or per cent decrease. So now once again as we did in percent increase here also try to convert this into a formula which will work for any other case. 10 can be described as the amount of decrease from 90 to 80. 90 can be called as the greater of the two. Since you have a decrease, so the two numbers of the two, one will be the larger or the greater and the other will be the smaller. So find the amount of decrease on greater value against 100 per 100 per cent. So this you must treat as a formula for finding percent decrease in any quantity. Let us do the calculation here. 10 divides 90 9 times and 100 by 9 is roughly 11. So we can say from 90 to 80 the percentage decrease is approximately 11. So this is the formula for finding percent decrease in any quantity. Now let us consider one example how to do approximations. Suppose the price of a book was reduced from 97 to 84 say 97 to 84. So what we do generally, we apply, we take exact values. From 97 to 84, there is 13 degrees. This 13 degrees is on 97. What I suggest you is in daily life or in any exam where speed is required and when it comes to lengthy calculations, where time has to be saved, then we should rely more on approximations and rough estimates. It's like this. What I will do, I will take 97 roughly as 100 and 84 as roughly 20. Sorry, sorry, 84 as roughly 80. Then the amount of decrease from 100 to 80 is 20 on 100. This will give me what approximate decrease. Of course, it will be 20% only. Roughly in daily life, you can imagine it as 20%. But of course, here when it comes to the test, if you have a, if you, a calculator use is allowed, then you can go for accuracy by using the calculator. Otherwise, you can see that 13 will divide 97 roughly 6 times and it will be close to 16%. So the margin is somewhat significant. But in daily life, this method of approximation when percent decrease or increase have to be found will work just fine. Okay. Thank you for watching this video. Keep watching more videos of mathforallgrades.com and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.